Hello everyone, welcome to TechTed. In this video, we will learn about this system called FORC. So I have found this very confusing among the students. So let's talk about FORC in this video. So what this system call does is it is it, it's a unique Unix system call and which is used to create process. Create new process. So this system call creates new process. Now what I'm saying, I'm repeatedly saying system call, right? So I'm saying system call. Now you should understand what is this system call actually. So this system call is basically, uh, or you can understand it like system calls are basically a medium or a way to request services from kernel. Okay, so in your operating system, in your OS, you have core of operating system, that is essential component. Okay, so this is OS and this is your kernel. This is your kernel. Okay, so this core of operating system is kernel which manages the services and if a, if a service is required, let's say what can be the example of service, let's say a call is required to schedule the processes or here itself it's a system call okay so if a service is required then it is being it is requested to the kernel that is core of operating system and it is done via this these system calls okay so this is a system call now let's come back to this fork so fork is a system call and you can see this field is blank okay so first of all we will write no no argument fine now second thing is what it returns so this fork returns the process id of the child process it creates okay so it returns process id of the child process okay so i'll just underline this word ch word child okay we'll come to it in a minute yeah so process id of a child process is being returned by the system called fork fine now another important point is after creation of the child process both parent and child process starts executing after the next instruction of this fork okay so I'll write it down okay so after creation of the process both parent and child which is newly created both the process processes starts execution from the next instruction okay so this is also very important now these are the points which you should uh, understand well first of all you need to you know uh, remember this and then we will understand it one by one okay so this is very straightforward no argument process id of the child is returned okay for successful creation of the process okay so uh, here is some point again so let's say if fork the value of fork which is being returned is greater than zero for successful creation so this is for fine but you also get sometime the value of for call being returned as negative value that is less than zero okay so this you get only in case of some error so this is a error case so this may be let's say uh, uh, your system is out of memory okay then new process cannot be created so in that case it will return error and in that case it will return the value less than zero now when you have value of fork equal to zero okay so this is also the case you will see we will discuss it again so in this case it means that it is child process okay so this 
fork returns 0 to the child process but greater than 0 to the parent process and negative if this fork fails okay so uh, I guess this is the whole thing whole uh, theory about the fork now let's quickly take an example and understand how it actually works okay so you need to remember it has no argument it returns process ID to the parent okay I mean process ID of the child process which has been newly created to the parent okay and after successful creation both parent and child starts executing from the next line okay next instruction basically so now quickly let's understand uh, and these are the various uh, values returned by this call so now in next uh, let's take a example quickly. so let's consider this code here you have simply two for calls okay inside this main and finally a print function okay so that this prints hello texted right now we have to see the execution like how it will actually execute during process creation and all and then how many times this print function runs ultimately how many times this hello texted is printed okay so well so i'll just write it like this so i'll write f so this is fork okay then this is again fork and this is this print function right so let's take it as a parent process okay so in this this process will run the, these functions will be executed okay so i'm calling it parent because this is the first process with it which i'm starting okay so this is p1 fine so in the very first line we have this fork call okay so with this after this fork call a child process will be created right so I'm starting from here so a child process will be created I'm calling it C1 okay so this child process has been created by this parent process now after this creation both the processes this parent and this child will start execution from the next instruction right so from here so both will run so this is this this is a method of parallel parallelization we achieve parallelization by running concurrent processes okay so both the process will now run but from the next instruction okay so now our control is here for this and for this it is here okay and now for this process this is over right for this process also this is over finally again for this there is a fork call so again a new process is created from here so this is now f f then p this is child of this c1 okay so i'm calling it c11 c11 right so you can see here after execution of this fork call both the parent that is this this is now parent so this process and this process both will start executing from here okay so for this also this execution is over for this this was already over this was already over right now this will print this will print hello texted okay so this part is over now our first parent that is the process with which we started is still we haven't talked about so here now for this process execution will start from here this line control is here right so here again you can see as fork is called so a new process will be created and this parent process and this child process both will start execution from here 
so as as soon as this fork is executed this process is created now both this one and this one will start from here okay this one is already done so this one is already executed here in the parent process so both will start execution from the next instruction so from my uh, when i was not uh, noting down the lines the third third point was that both the processes starts execution from the next instruction so that should be clear by now right so after creation of the process which is create a new process here both parent and this child start executing from the next instruction okay so let's call it c2 right now for this parent and this child both have to execute this print statement so it will print hello ticketed okay and this will also print here here hello right now let's talk about in this example itself so so uh, the question was how many times the print ticketed is printed so you can now see look, like it is printed four times okay now let's talk about the process id itself okay so here when the first fork was called okay for this process parent it will return this this thing will return the process id how much so let's say for this process id is 1 2 3 4 so this will return 1 2 3 4 for this parent as we have mentioned that this for call returns the process id of the newly created child okay so for this parent this is the child okay so for this for call first for call the child was this so to parent this value was returned but to child what will be returned zero okay so it will return it will return how much zero fine so now you understand the three uh, uh, values which i had written that it returns negative value when system calls fails and it returns zero to the child process and it returns process id to the parent that is process id of the child to the parent so here it will be 1 2 4 3 1 2 3 4 that is i have assumed this is the process id yeah, i should it's 1 2 0 okay. okay now for this for call here it will have some process id which will be so let's say this one is 3 4 5 6 so this fork in this parent will get the value of how much this id 3 4 5 6 okay but the same fork call here will get how much zero okay so i'm repeating it again that fork call returns the process id of child to the parent but this fork call returns zero to the child itself okay so now you can understand that this condition you can use to check whether this process which has been uh, executing the line which is executing the line is child process that is newly created process or the parent right so simply you can apply if condition whether the return value is greater than 0 then this is parent process then if it is 0 then it is child right similarly here also you can see like i need not to let, let me repeat okay let's finish it so let's say this process id is 7 8 9 6 okay for this child then it has this child has been created by this fork call right this fork call now this fork call will have this process id for this parent so for this parent it will have 7 8 9 6 but this for this child the same for call will have how much zero okay so i hope this is clear uh, 
and if you still have any doubt so go to the doubt section or in this video itself you can ask the doubt in the next video we will uh, take another example and we will solve the uh, this this using this condition of process id we will try to figure out how many times the print condition will run or how the code will actually execute okay so see you in the next le next lecture thanks for watching